And mainly I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to Torchlight 2. I, I think that's going to be my thing. Like, yeah, there's things that could have been done with this game. And I'll bring them up just in case, like, somebody watches this video at some point and is like, Hey, I really like Torchlight. Maybe we should, like, kind of bring that back. Though, I think most people probably prefer uh, the old Diablo games instead. Just because of market prominence. Uh, Diablo or, uh, I mean, honestly, Path of Exile. I, I honestly am curious how much popular, how much more popular one is versus the other. Because, like, it seems like people are pretty dedicated to uh, Path of Exile. And it seems like it's kind of built more for it. And Diablo 2 felt like a lot of the endgame stuff that they added was just like, well, they didn't even really have. They just had some, like, kind of high-end gear that most people would never see. Uh, but, you know, it was just kind of the same repetitive content over and over and over again. You beat the game, and then you just played it on loop uh, through several more difficulties. And, like, not the end of the world, but not that exciting either. And conversely, Path of Exile very clearly actually has, like, endgame story stuff. And they also, like, come out with a new expansion every, like, couple of months? Like, I, I was straight up going to play, was it Betrayal? Uh, back in was it December or November or something like that. And I was just like, eh, I don't have enough time for it. I'm too busy with stuff. And now I'm considering playing whatever the new one is. The fact that there's a, a, a new expansion coming out already. I mean, admittedly, it seems like most of the content drops are fairly minor, all things considered. Which is probably for the best, you know, kind of keep people interested and keep the leagues going without changing too much. Let's see. You good? Yeah, it looks like this is just kind of a loop section for places I've already been to. Maybe not, actually. Okay, let's go check out that phase portal. There's something back there. Unless that, of course, warps us to the next level, but worth a shot. Where does this take me? What is in here? Secret mines. But this is cool. There's effectively, you know, the mines, but scaled up. I like when games do this. It's like, here's our old content, we're gonna scale it up a little bit so it's not, like, totally forgotten. I will admit, there's a, uh, what is it? There's a certain appeal to how Nuclear Throne did it, which is specifically, uh, in Nuclear Throne, you, you looped and new enemy types would start spawning and stuff like that. Like, straight up enemies that weren't in the base game. And also started, like, remixing new, uh, old enemy types from, like, other areas. So things just got hectic. I thought that was cool. It was a fun game. I sucked at it, though. I was no good at Nuclear Throne. I'm no good at, uh... Oh, what was it? Enter the Gungeon, either. I got kind of okay at it by the end, but I'm just I'm just too much of a chump. Oh, that can't leave from here. That's probably what's going on. Okay. Your pet has departed. Go get them, doggo. Let's see, is this Your anything? Has returned. Probably not. Oh, and we're up to Grands. I'm assuming Grands are more than Supers at this point, yeah. I think we had some of those earlier. And then I sold them because I was like, I'm not... I'm not going to be able to, uh... Use enough of these. I barely use potions to begin with. Let's see. Probably make sure my skeletal board is is topped off. 
Again, I'm not entirely sure how many I have, how many I can have, so I'm just going to kind of keep resummoning it, resummoning them. Just kind of dumping things. It would actually be kind of neat to play a mini master in one of these games where, yeah, you're more in charge of using like charged buffs and like directing your your dudes instead of actually like kind of fighting alongside them. Probably hard to uh, hard to balance that without either making it super powerful or kind of boring. But it would be like a neat change of pace. I just want to be a Pokemon tra trainer in an RPG, uh, an ARPG, I guess very specifically. So what floor are we even going down to? Uh, 31. I know it goes to at least 32. I'm betting... It goes a little deeper than that. 35, maybe? It, I've been... I've been trying to hold off on, uh... Looking stuff up, because I'm really curious. But, uh, I'm really curious, like, how deep this game does go. Because, like, this level I, I, I knew about beforehand. I, I kind of said this earlier, but I never finished the thought. Where, you know, I was just playing the randomly generated maps instead, and I made it all the way here. Those 10 to 20 maps, or maybe maybe I had even higher tier, tier maps than that. Uh, they would very specifically lead me to this section. Oh, I bet I was getting the Grand Healing Potion from that. Yeah, we're not on Grands yet. Well, that might imply that there's an area even further than this. Okay, let's just sell the Grands then. Let's sell the Mana Potions. I don't use them. I don't need them. Let's see. But yeah, so this... I never, I never had any maps that brought me to the Dwarven Fortress, from what I remember, but I very distinctly remember having a ton of maps that led me here. It was a giant pain in the ass because I was a destroyer and most things were taking glancing blows. I had to play like a complete, uh, coward-ish? I had to play extremely conservatively, which was interesting for an ARPG. <laughs> which is why I was kind of like, maybe I'll play, uh... Maybe I'll play a uh, an alchemist this time and go minion master, so I can kind of just chill. I'm not actually sure if this is a better idea, but hello. Hello. I'm just going to stand here and watch you die. Hooray! Okay, uh, let's see, so let's keep working to max that out. Get some more in defense. I can't believe Master Auric has been consumed so completely. Ordrug is the cause. He has nested in the ember for time beyond telling. The twisted creatures in this mountain are a reflection of his heart. His dark spirit runs through their veins. Master Auric is crafting Dark Ember. He brought me here to assist him. I would have done so eventually. I can already hear Ordrock's voice calling to me. You must destroy them, Auric and Ordrock both. The Dark Ember is an abomination we cannot allow. I think we're right at the end, actually. Yeah, I was thinking as such. I was going to be really surprised that the whole reason why I was, like, mildly, like, how long is this game? Is, like, the lava area... Oh, way gate to town. The lava area feels very distinctly like, you know, the final area. And then you went to the Dwarven Fortress, and it's like, oh, I guess it's not. And then you get to this past area, and you're like, oh, oh, this is the last area. And then we just took the stairs down. No, no, we're still in the Black Palace. Okay. It might just all be Black Palace. Hard to say exactly. I might have to resummon my imps. I think they get wrecked. I don't think they're as durable 
as some of my other critters. Let's see. But yeah, so it's one of those games where, like, uh, I guess the Lava Fortress really did. Well, one, I kind of knew it wasn't going to be the end. But usually, Lava Fortresses are like, yeah, you're you're pretty pretty close to the end end of this game. Like, you know, you don't have much left. And then you play uh, <laughs> Dark Souls 2, uh, which is just like Lava Fortress. Eh, that's like kind of mid game. Though the Lava Fortress was not that tremendous of an area. It was big, but it wasn't like obscenely large. Oops. Oh. Ooh, owie. Looks like somebody's in desperate need of a fireballing. She does shoot like a, a spell every once in a while, but it looks like she gave up on that. I don't know. I think I'm ridiculous. I don't do that much damage though. Like I'm not actually, I'm not like rolling things to death here. It's not as fast as I thought it was going to be. I'm also running out of mana, but I'm also like chain casting my, my burst shot over and over and over again, repeatedly. Oh, let's just hang back. Now, oh, wow. Nether M's do not scale quick. I was, for like, a tier one spell, I was really expecting I'd be able to like pump more uh, more points into it, but nope. Okay. Is there anything? Yeah, there's stuff around here. We scalar minions. I don't really know why I'm being thorough. I could straight up just ignore almost all of the content in this game and be fine. Like I'm, I'm certainly... I'm certainly capable of cakewalking through almost all of this. Stay away from that for a bit. Things are kind of hurty. I guess it just feels disingenuous to just, like, go sp full speed mode. Even though that would be maybe the more efficient way of doing things. I don't know. Then again, I might also get caught out and just get wrecked again. So. Eh. Eh. Ow. Yeah, like I said, might get caught out and wrecked again. And my minions are faster, but that doesn't really help them get get in there quick. A lot of them get kind of distracted or stuck on corners. Let's see. Yeah, if, if I'm dying like this, I wouldn't be surprised if my imps aren't getting smacked around a little bit too. Out me my minions. I guess I should just stay very far away from them all. Be summon all my, my imps. Okay, there we go. Is that not a mid boss? Yeah, they they do a lot of damage, a lot more than I ever do. Hmm. So I might might have to resummon my zombies. I like the zombies, but they have this like kind of frustrating tendency to just not be part of the pack and then, like, never arrive. Let's see. Yeah, wow. Look at all that damage. I do, like, five, six hundred per shot. I'm noticing some of these guys are doing straight up fifteen hundred. Let's see. Nope. I think I might have lost one of my golems here. I'm gonna resummon them. Not entirely sure. I didn't see the uh, the f first golem type rolling by. Okay, we're almost done. I, I'm betting. I'm betting we're done at 35.
it was a good feeling. I don't know. I like it when I can uh, finish games in relatively short order. Um, and this is absolutely like a me problem. But generally, like, games are most satisfying when they're like 10 to 15 hours. Anything more than that tends to be like too long for my taste. The mechanics get stale. Um, or, you know, maybe the character that I'm playing as gets stale. There's very few games that actually have like that, that like breadth of content that make them exciting. And this game, maybe part of the problem is just like this spell system requires like almost obscene investment in like one or two types. Uh, and then they don't scale well, at least for the, uh, the spells that I have available. And so it's, uh, it's unfortunate, you know, say, trying to, trying to be like a caster, and I'm like, oh, my spells are kind of peasly. I'm just gonna, like, when you drop meteors on a, on a group of enemies, you kind of expect them to do a buttload of damage. And it, like, it, it does about twice as much as a regular attack for me. I mean, in an AoE, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Divinity Original Sin's, like, scaling system and spells. Like, you could do some wild nonsense throughout those games. And they only got, like, more ridiculous as you went along. I, I'm looking forward to Divinity Original Sin 3. Because, like, it might be... Goofy? Ow. I hope they do away with the, uh, source points, though. Those got kind of... I mean, they were good for, like, using the super spells, but, like, half the fun spells were, like, locked behind them, and I was just like, no. I kind of wanted to use some of those. And then, yeah, just because you know, you don't want to run out of source points, I just never did. Until, like, the very end when you had not limited, and it's like, well, time to just spam shit. But that game also had, like, really satisfying depth and breadth, and elemental effects. Like, I'd actually really like to see a, uh... I, I'd really like to see an ARPG like this almost, um, use a similar elemental effects system. So, for those of you that have never played the Divinity games, you, uh... Say you lay, lay like, poison on the ground. Well, if you use a fire spell on the poison, the poison ignites. Or oil also ignites, and then will eventually turn. I think you can you can then turn it into like a gas, which like blocks blocks vision, which hampers ranged attacks, uh, and also does a bunch of damage, which can also be ignited and explode and a bunch of wild stuff. And it's really satisfying, and like it would be really neat if you could do like elemental combos. Resist fire, you say? Does it resist minions? Kinda, actually. Stop hitting me. They're getting a little durable for my poor minions. Let's see. I have to consider some of the blue items that roll by. Because some of them are, in fact, better. Me alone. Let's see. I don't know. I have this this whole rant about like game mechanics staling a bunch. I don't think it was like a really big issue for me for quite a while. Uh, until I think I played Persona 5. I think, I, and I bring bring this one up often. That like I think Persona 5 ruined long games for me because previously when I play a long game I'd be like yeah this is this is a lot of fun, and then um. That game was just actually too long, and so ever since I've been like extremely sensitive to like how long is this game, how much time is it going to take me to beat it. There's a couple other games like that where they were they were tremendously longer than expected, and you know it, it throws me off. But maybe it's also one of those that like more and more games are coming out every single year. And, you know, I'm not able to go back to the ones that I want to. I've been kind of lucky the past two months. 
uh, there haven't been that many, like, banger indie games for me to get, like, really sucked into. There have been a number. There's some pretty good ones, but, like, you know, no major, like, AAA rate releases that I absolutely have to play no matter what. I'm, like, I want to go back and finish Metro Exodus, but it, it's not one of those that I was, like, ever basing my channel around the game or anything like that. Um, and so I've been able to kind of kick back a little bit. Why am I all alone up here? Yeah, they really can't deal with stairs. Because the thing is, they'll like come up to me and then get stuck on the stairs anyway because they can't, they can't path it. Because yeah, they're they're just supposed supposed to move in a linear line to me. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Not a big deal, but it's just like I don't know. I guess that's like the laziest version of pathfinding I've seen. It works. No, no. There, there is one lazier version of pathfinding that I've seen, which is very specifically the. Uh, the teleporting Watson from uh, Sherlock Holmes. I don't know how many of you guys have uh, seen that in a game. Does this lead me? Hello. But I think it was. Man, I don't even remember how old the game is. But there was like a Sherlock Holmes indie game. It actually wasn't like half bad from what I remember, but it had. Uh, it had Watson, and I guess they couldn't figure out how to get him to path or something like that? Or it wasn't important. And so instead of having him, like, walk around, Watson would straight up just warp. You know, when you weren't looking at him, he would, uh, he would just teleport to, you know, kind of behind Sherlock. And it was really goofy looking, because effectively, you know, you, you'd just be like, alright, bye Watson, and then he'd, like, walk off. Uh, to like do your thing and then you turn around and Watson was like right there behind you waiting to see if you needed anything which is like I mean on one hand it's kind of amusing on the other hand it's like kind of terrifying and I want to say some people made like funny videos making fun of it justifiably so it's another no it's not another portal I don't know if I actually care to go through the challenge portals honestly But that, that is by far the laziest and funniest pathfinding I've ever heard of. Oh. I'm just going to stretch. And then wait. And then check my emails just to see. Nope. It is nerve-wracking trying, uh, trying to get at house effectively. Uh, previously, when we when we moved, uh, we just had never been to the apartment complex before, and it's like, well, it's got it's got decent reviews. We'll be fine. This time I was around, I actually had visited the previous place, and I was like, yeah, it looks fine. You know, I like it. Turned out to be like a complete mistake. Um, whoops. But we get there, we reject the property, and we move move on to like house hunting for other places and then we're just like living in a hotel being like uh uh well we found a good place but you know are, are we gonna get accepted are we gonna not you know do we have to worry about this is somebody else gonna snag the property somehow and it's 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 weird i'm not used to uh oh now we're up to grants this might be a weird transitionary room I'm not sure if i'm gonna like that Epic dull blade. Hmm. Damn, some of those things are doing 4,000 damage. I don't think that's me. N no, it's my dog. My dog's the thing that does 4,000 damage. <laughs> of course it is. I guess with the damage boost, yeah, why not? It it's doing like a boatload of additional damage. Okay. Oh, my dog is full. 
we probably are going to have to go back to town. Yeah. We're going to have to go to go to town, and I'm pretty much never going to use any of these gems, am I? Let's just go back now. Your pet has departed. We're just going to let it come back. Your pet has returned. There we go. That is a quick sell. I, I'm imagining, like, the dog just goes, like, full speed force, gets back to town, and just, like, hurls items at these people, and they get kind of upset about it. Truly an epic victory. I can picture it now. Iselmog the Vengeful, roaring mightily, you striking a dashing pose. I wish I could have been there to see it. Of course, there's the danger. One with talents such as mine simply cannot be risked on such perilous errands. I will spread word of your victory in song and verse. I think that's the last of his quests. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, yup. Okay, so we've got pyramids. Do we have another purple triangle? We do. Do we have another purple circle? We do. Okay, let's mush all these gems together and then have them continue to just sit there meaninglessly because I have no use for them. Uh, if I fought more, I think these gems would actually make a massive difference uh, or at least a, a notable one. But because I am... Because I am just... Uh, Let's see, dull eyeball, dull eyeball. Okay, so we can combine those. Purple square, no. Do we have a, yes. Probably gonna grab the pure ember. Bet it combos. Anything else? No. Oh. Master Ulrich taught me to serve others, to protect the weak, to strike evil down. Ordron has overwhelmed him. It has altered him completely. Please put him to rest. Oh, let's see. This one. Yay. Okay, so we've mushed all of our gems down. Yeah, the main problem is just, like, weapon plus 24 damage. Eh. Okay, so we want to talk to her. No, no, it doesn't look like she's got anything amazing on either of these. Okay, we might want to switch out for this, though. Probably doesn't matter too much. Anyway. I kind of wish you could repeatedly enchant the same thing without actually having to close the window. But then again, you're not really supposed to jam on enchantments to the same piece of equipment endlessly. I've got a lot of weapons. But I doubt I'm going to find another better wand anytime soon. So let's not have a lot of money anymore. Uh, you know what? I got to check one more thing. We should probably check out the spell vendor before we go. So skeleton three, zombies three, archers five. Let's see, Bee Swarm, Archers 3, Skeleton 4. Yeah, so we've we've got everything we could possibly have, probably. Unless there's a hot haste five. No, haste four, haste four, haste four. Alright. So we should probably re redo this. Then back to this guy. Enchant my thing! Take my money! Make me poor. Okay, so we have Maximum Leonard's con Conundrum, which is mostly a giant mess. I it, it would be really rad. Ooh, 30% faster cast speed, though. That's pretty swank. Um, 
Let's see. I think it would be really nice if you actually, every time you enchanted the item, they were more expensive, but you got a choice between three. Instead of it just adding random stats. I I really like being able to like ch choose my path ish. Okay. So it looks like Ah. Looks like my my nether imps are getting wrecked here. Oh well, there's the sanguine ember. I don't think there's any more side quests for that guy either, though. So like, eh. We eat fire. Well, at least it does a decent chunk of damage. I should probably try attacking things with my newfangled wand, wand nonsense. It does some damage. Not as much as my minions, though. They uh, they melt things a lot faster than I do. I'm just gonna keep pumping it into defense. Considering it seems like my main problems are survivability, not killing things, then I should probably prioritize that as hard as possible. I am weaker than my dog. <laughs> Not a big deal, but a little, a little demoralizing. Let's see. My golems are still here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run in some of my archers and then run out. Let them sort it. I don't actually know how good they are. Assuming they're relatively handy. Okay, stay away from that. This guy looks like a, a proper challenge for me. Everybody else is too much. <laughs> Cowardice saves the day. But I'm sure. I'm sure if we'd played like a more legit build, <laughs> as opposed to me like mod hacking minion mastery into being super viable, and then. Uh, And then more or less letting them handle everything. I, you know, I, I bet there's a better, uh, a better way of doing all of this. Well, better, fair, I don't know. But I just, it's fine. This is usually what happens when I do a modded series. I find like some kind of broken combo, and I'm just like, well, going with it. I did really enjoy the ability to respec on the fly. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have that in the vanilla game. It, I like games where you kind of have to choose, but, like, being able to finely tune what you want to be throughout is so important. I don't think you could do that in Diablo 2, and you more or less can't do that in, in Path of Exile, which is a darn shame, because, like, I, I feel like if you could, you know, add and remove stuff as necessary, it would actually be more fun? Maybe? I don't know. I, last time I brought this up, some like really hardcore Path of Exile fans were like, "No, you need to make your decision beforehand and like really." Oh, I should have put that helmet away. Eh, whatever. You really have to like, you know, choose. And I'm just like, I don't. What if I don't wanna? Wow. Yeah, go figure. My imps are getting wrecked. That fire breath does like hundreds of damage. 